the Waterloo Water Quality Quiz with your host, yours truly, Johnny G. Hiya, folks. Brought to you by the Regional Municipality of Waterloo and the Mannheim Water Treatment Plant. We put the water in Waterloo. Now, direct from the Mannheim Control Room, here's your host, Johnny G. Ah, oh, thank you, friends, and welcome to the Waterloo Water Quality Quiz, where you can test your knowledge of water treatment, efficiency, and conservation. I know, I'm excited too. So, what are we waiting for? Let's get right to our game with the first water quality query. What is the source of Waterloo Region's water supply? A, groundwater wells. B, the Grand River. C, both A and B. D, the Atlantic Ocean. Think it over. Time's up. If you said A, groundwater wells, or B, the Grand River, sorry, you'd only be half right. If you said D, the Atlantic Ocean, well, that's not right either, but it's an interesting choice. But if your answer is C, both groundwater and surface water, you're as right as rain. Surface water from the Grand River is pumped to the state-of-the-art Mannheim Water Treatment Plant, where it's purified, disinfected, and blended with treated groundwater before it's distributed to residents in the region. About 20% of the total annual water supply currently comes from the Mannheim Water Treatment Plant. And the remaining 80% comes from 126 groundwater wells, around Waterloo Region. Well, 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 here's your next question. What is the average daily water demand in Waterloo Region? Is it A, 10 million liters, B, 55 million liters per day, or C, 180 million liters per day? Think it over. Time's up. If you said A, 10 million liters per day, sorry, that's just a drop in the bucket. 55 million liters per diem, you're getting closer, but the right answer is C. The average daily water demand in Waterloo Region is about 180 million liters each day. That's a lot of H2O, and it's all top notch. Regardless of whether surface water or groundwater is used as a water source, all water supply for drinking must meet, or better, the health-related drinking water regulations set by the Government of Ontario. Surface water from the Grand River requires a high level of treatment. Consequently, the Mannheim Water Treatment Plant uses state-of-the-art water treatment technology. Here's your next question. Which of the following is not a water treatment process? A, coagulation. B, flocculation. C, filtration. D, post-hypnotic suggestion. <laughs> what do you think? Well, if you said D, post-hypnotic suggestion, you're right. And when this presentation is over, you may find yourself feeling happy, more knowledgeable, and optimistic. That's because you knew that coagulation is the rapid mixing of chemicals with raw water, allowing particles and impurities in the water to begin to clump together. Mmm, yummy bits. In the flocculation phase, gentle mixing promotes collisions among the clumps of impurities to allow larger flocks to form. Mmm, big yummy bits. Flock particles pass through a series of plates. The flock settles on the plates and then drops to the bottom of a settling basin. This is the sedimentation process, which means separating the water from the big yummy bits. Filtration is achieved when fine particulate and organic matter is removed with physical and chemical processes in multimedia filters. Fancy schmancy. Filtering also reduces objectionable tastes and odors in water. Smell ya later. Now that we've gotten rid of the yummy bits and smellies, it's time to test the waters. Here's your question. 
to ensure drinking water is safe. Approximately how many water tests are done each year in Waterloo Region? A. 500 B. 10,000 tests C. 25,000 or D. 80,000 tests What do you think? Well, if you said A, B, or C, you're testing too low. In Waterloo Region, the Environmental Enforcement Services and Laboratory Services, EELS for short, isn't that clever? Processes approximately 22,000 water samples per year and performs an estimated, wait for it, 80,000 tests per year. Say, that's a tall drink of water, but it's not ready yet. No, we're just getting started. Now we go high tech. Here's your next question. Which of the following is not a water disinfecting treatment? A, chloramination. B, ozonation. C, ultraviolet irradiation. D, procrastination. What do you think? Well, if you said D, procrastination, you're right!